Hi everyone, welcome to my Carol Cumber YouTube channel. So today we're carrying on with our theme that we started uh, yesterday's YouTube, which is where I've offered to do a real personal intimate connection uh, with your higher self and see what message your higher self has for you in these interesting changing times that we're currently in. And um, the introduction to that, the full introduction to that is on the video yesterday. Uh, so this week's videos are all going to be about connecting into as many people as I possibly can who've actually asked me to. And um, yeah, just giving you sort of snippets from your higher self about what it is that you could do with focusing on right now to assist you into raising your vibrations into a higher state, into a more fluid state for yourselves to be a bit happier during these sacred times of change and what i've done uh, yesterday and i'm, I'm going to do this every day when we put one of these up is uh, out of the same pack of cards which is uh, diana cooper's uh, archangel animals i thought i'd pull us one for each day just to see um what kind of vibes are around what the animal kingdom are trying to teach us along with their Archangel counterpart. And this morning, we pulled out for us all camel. And on the card, it says, be forbearing and patient. <laughs> and it's Archangel Defile, which is the angel of joy, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so I'm gonna read you what's in the book as well each day, just so you get more of a, um, more of an idea, the thing about oracle cards that I love is whoever's made them, they're channeling that information. They're, they're getting that information from the cosmos and just offering it out to people. And you make of it what you wish to make of it. And it's the same of all these messages that will come through for you today. It's like, just take the parts that really resonate with you and the rest you can leave behind. And it will come in handy at some stage. It will stay in your aura for you to absorb at some other future date, if that makes sense. So about camels, it says, camels incarnate from Lacume, the ascended aspect of Sirius. They carry much wisdom and are waiting patiently to share this with humanity. They will download this to us as we become more telepathically receptive and are ready to progress into the new golden age, which is what this pandemic currently of COVID-19 is about. We're being given an opportunity of community, of raising our vibrations, of stepping up to assist others and ourselves in these changing times. The old paradigms are falling away, so we have the opportunity of creating something better. As, chemical, as chemicals, <laughs> as camels move from meditative, empty deserts to noisy, chaotic town, towns, they're learning and teaching about balance. They're also transforming lower frequencies into light, which is perfect, isn't it, for today? Much sacred knowledge from Lacame is contained in their divine blueprint, and this they pass into a golden, fifth dimensional ley lines wherever they go. They're helping to maintain the grids for us. So ley lines are energy lines, like dragon lines we call them, that are all around and through the earth, a bit like meridian lines on the human body. Camels are also demonstrating to us to use resources wisely. <laughs> well, that seems fitting of the times. And they have learned to conserve what they have and use it with discrimination. That would be good for us all today. And so that there is enough for everyone also good okay so that's our camel so um our first our first person this morning is andy a andy this is for you so let's have a connection in and see what your higher self wishes to uh, reflect back to you today just bear with me a minute while we have a connection time Okay, so 
So your higher self is giving me quite diverse different pictures. I got two main pictures there. Well, third one actually as well, which is quite funny. Um, so the first one is, you know, with all of these messages, obviously I, I know some of you, I don't know other people. Um, so it's it's just me giving what I'm seeing, what I'm picking up, what I'm feeling, and for you to make some sense out of it. And, you know, I'd love some feedback if you feel like doing it, which means you have to scroll right to the bottom um, and put something in the comments field. Because um, sometimes I can elaborate then on what I was sensing. But anyway, so Andy, first of all, you gave me a picture of you as Florence Nightingale. <laughs> And with a lamp, you know, it was like Florence Nightingale. I went, who are you? And you were walking at night time in wards, really well kept, clean wards. And there was a beautiful calm. And you were going around with this like paraffin lamp and well, lantern, really. It was a lantern. It was like sort of more of a spiritual light. And it was it was a beautiful, you know, soft, warm glow that was coming through the nighttime walk that you were taking through a quiet sleeping ward. And um, you were sharing the light of your heart within that space. And there's a beautiful, I've gone very, very, very goosebumpy. Um, so, and this is about, you know, about you uh, tapping into your uh, your soul signature, really. It feels like um, there's a strong core of benevolent giving. Like you, you have to do that in your life. This is more than just um, a call to arms. Currently, this is definitely a. It's part of your soul signature. It's part of who you are. So it's not something you can ever avoid doing. Um, but there's a quiet strength in there. There's a quiet determination. There's a quiet, quiet doesn't mean weak. It's like, it's like a real strength behind you, but you're quietly um, considering how you put things and then putting it out there. You're full of wisdom at this time. It's like you've had many, many, many lifetimes in, in over well, a long time of, of supplying uh, people with care and um, you're coming through with quite a few innovative ideas. Now, you love freedom. You absolutely have to have freedom. So um, when you're constrained within, within a system, <laughs> it's like a bit for you. So they're just asking you to just breathe and just take some breathing, take some nature, um, and just breathe deeply. So when that old system, you will see changing before your eyes because you're one of the leaders of the new system. You're one of the new leaders who is, is part of this, you know, higher dimensional living and the love virus and all the other things that are coming through. So you can see people following old patterns within the structure is the way you're putting it. Not sure what the structure is, but you'll definitely know, Andy, what I'm talking about. It's like, uh, you 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 uh, you seeing that change before your eyes, and you see people struggle with it. They're really struggling with it, and so that they're, they're losing purchase, and of course that makes more room for fear. And you come in, da da. <laughs> I'm not sure whether the dark came from. Anyway. <laughs> so you come in, and you're like, we got this, and it's sort of like. Uh, Remember that picture that you've just given me, the first one, that you are day or night going into that scenario, into that changing of structure, whatever it is, as Florence Nightingale, so you're spreading your light. That's really important to do. Second picture you gave me was uh, you have to get your hands in the dirt, have to get your hands in the earth. It's not enough for you to go out and just like potter about or be with the trees or whatever else it is that, you know, we... we we introduced yesterday via some people, but this is hands in the earth. So if you could pot up some plants, some herbs, something or other, anything that you can actually put your hands in the earth, a little bit of gardening, you need to get right down in it. It's like, um, it doesn't matter, you know, how much in a week or for how long, it's just really necessary for you to get your, your hands and your feet and your, 
your knees and your nose as close to the earth as possible. There's something about you being, Mother Earth wants to almost cocoon you. She wants to sort of, it's almost like if you were lying down on the earth and snuggling with the earth and then she would put her, her cocoon around you, you know, wrap you up in the leaves of nature and, and, and just, just, ooh, um, now, it's not about nurturing, it's about restructuring. So she's trying to help you as Earth Mother be the strongest, best you can possibly be. And for you to do that, uh, you have to align with Mother Earth. This is more than just picking up nurturing from her. It's about aligning with her. And the way she, the way your higher self is telling me for you to do that is to get in the earth. Get, it doesn't matter if you don't like gardening, just pick up some soil. Just get a bit grubby with it. <laughs> Uh, really just you know yeah get in it she's saying that's what you really really need it's like it restores your clarity of mind so when you've done that the benefit is restoring your clarity of mind and the last picture you gave me was really funny i saw you scrumping you were going around pinching apples off trees <laughs> now we know the season for that is in the autumn when we're just you know arriving in spring but it was like you were having a mischievous fun so your higher self is saying don't forget the mischief you've got to be mischievous and you've got to do the things and on impulse and spontaneity it's really important for you to be able to do that so that keeps you sane that's the thing that keeps you sane it's sort of like even if you're not doing the scrumping it's very like um just even thinking about it actually gives you a bit of a bit of a boost, a bit of a giggle, a bit of a chuckle. Chuckle, that's the word you're using. Okay, my love, love to you. Hope that's of use. <laughs> so the next thing is, um, just to remember as a, as a group and as a global thing, that what we're offering here is one-on-one -on -one links. So this is absolutely perfect for each and every one of you that's coming through. But remember, whoever's watching this, if it resonates, you take it too, because uh, we're in a unity consciousness. We're supplying this from a unity consciousness within myself and yourselves today. And so it's real teamwork. So if any of you were pick, listening to some of that information and thinking, yeah, my God, I, I so need to do that, then obviously do it, you know, make it part of your your loving intent, it'd be fantastic. Hope that was of use. Okay, next lady is Belle, Belle B. Let's have a look for you, Belle, what it is today. Okay, so there's a sense of you, Belle, that um, everything's running very fast, like quite a lot of energy is coming into you, but you, it's it's seeping out of you very fast. So um, there's a time now, now, where you need to wrap yourself up in a bit of cotton wool. Um, so that's what you showed me. You showed me like you were being wrapped up in a complete cotton wool um, and you were thinking you needed to sleep, but actually, what the cotton wool did is is restore you instantly. So you wanted to actually go out and do some dancing and some walking and some being and some some playing. So rather than the sleep, it's playing. It's playing that you need. Your higher self is saying, "I just want to play." It's like woo, shake off that sense. And um, you know, we talk about illusions, and you're using the word illusion. So shake off the illusion of heavy repression and responsibility and turn it into playful living so your uh, higher self is saying come on we know how to play we know how to do it really well let's do some playful stuff and get playful with the day get playful with the moment to lighten it up and get playful with the moment so your message is all about play <laughs> lots of love okay so now we have one for julie julie jones Let's have a look. Okay, so immediately your higher self is talking about my time for greatness. This is my time for greatness. And it's like you've been gifted with the 
inner knowledge of a very big, large, powerful pool of energy of love, compassion and knowledge, 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 knowledge. So I saw you in, you showed me of you in a really, you really tying in with the camel this morning because you showed me that you were in the middle of a really busy street. And then the next thing I saw you on, on um, the beachfront near the ocean, standing there being with the ocean. Um, so what your higher self is saying is um, you've been waiting a long time to uh, find where you kind of fit with things and this is it. So it kind of starts today. It starts today where you um, bring your love and your laughter and your different way of seeing things. So your higher self is trying to remind you that you have a very different way of filtering the world's experiences. You have a very, very different way of uh, working things out, of um, understanding things. And that unique way of you filtering life is needed now. So um, your higher self is saying, come on, this is the time for us to step into that aspect of ourselves and to share that so yeah it's definitely a time to get happy with your differences and to um to to get them out there a bit jules in some way it's like your higher self is saying come on connect with people do things um have chats write about things put your uniqueness out there um there's a there's a opening that's coming up um over the next few days unless it's already done it two days ago it might have done it two days ago there's an opening very very two plus two so it's a, it's around us we're in it we're at this time where um it's almost like a we would call it an opportunity but your high self is saying not that it's saying an opening so your words are very different because we're filtering it your way so it says there's an opening here um, that you've been longing for for a long, 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 long time. It's a deep yearning longing and it's here. So they want you to be very alert to that arriving now. If it hasn't already over the last two days, it's today or tomorrow or the next day, no longer than that. You're in this five day window and it's here for you to notice and take a step forward towards it. The opening is to do with your heart soaring opening and uh, releasing and exploring there's an adventure and exploration in this as well so <laughs> oh yeah I'd be really interested to know what that one is <laughs> okay my love lots of love okay so next one is for Emma Emma L Don't be afraid of enjoying this time. So your big message that you're bringing through for the collective and yourself, Emma, is you can relish this time. This time is really, really, really amazing for you. Your light and high vibration is so made for this. It's like you're going to be able to see all of the amazing things that are coming from this time in our lives. Um, it's like if you get if you get caught in the... So as empaths, when we, w many of us are, are very sensitive people and we're very empathic. So what actually happens is when you get a global event that actually has a lot of fear, we get drenched by that. So it's really, really important to use joy as a way to keep your aura clear. So it's just finding some things of joy and that will absolutely do it. That's enough protection that you need is by doing something joyful each and every day. Just have a good laugh in some way. <laughs> <laughs> awful and so emma this is a time when you know others are like others are, others will be will be um focusing on uh darker energy you are so light you know you are your light your harmony your blessing your <clears throat> fun you're naturally part of a very strong light form so they're saying this is the time when you can relish it <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> you can um thrive <laughs> so your higher self is saying this is the time for you to thrive 
to really it's like you've been waiting for this spontaneity spontaneity to arrive but you've been waiting for this freedom to arrive where you can do what you want when you want with who you want and 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 really relish and enjoy it and have a real good giggle all the way through it it feels like there's an aspect of you that's feeling a little bit embarrassed or a bit like oh god this is out of place and you know everybody's expected to be serious about this and 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 did it and it's like you're like <laughs> can't bloody do that <laughs> so give yourself all that freedom that you need that's not for you that's other people's stuff that's not yours yours is um wafting through like a goddess through these times and woo, you know just doing your thing which naturally helps hundreds of thousands of people by you giving yourself full permission to really enjoy these times okay sweetheart we really need to do that and then uh, Jonathan uh, Oyama. Let's see what you want, sweetheart. Oh, wow, Jonathan, your higher self is saying uh, sit with the sage that you are, the holy man. So you've brought, I've gone all goosebumpy, uh, you've gone, uh, which means to me it's a high message. It means like, um, you know this deep within. And sometimes <clears throat> we've had experiences where we've touched that aspect of ourselves and sometimes we've nurtured it and sometimes we've put it away because we don't know what to do with it. So your higher self is bringing through today is you are a sage and you are a holy man. And those things put together are right for this time in your life right now there's a lot of laughter around this there's a lot of um like tongue-in-cheek <laughs> uh a bit sort of like uh i don't know real tongue-in-cheek down to earth real earthy uh but it's a time of massive expansion in your household and um it's like after you've had a busy 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 time um feel like there's lots of fairies and bits of bobs around you so when you when it's been busy 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 time and then you have your rest time and then um it's like sink in to the depth of that meditative uh heart space the heart and belly time for you sink into that heart and belly and you know we're tongue in cheek and just a bit of fun go okay where's my stage holy man in me and see actually what comes up because uh there's a lot there there's a lot there that it's like um you're using the phrases things like tombs of wisdom it's like there's quite a lot of cosmic information coming through to you right now it's being downloaded through uh, arcturus and um it's coming through you and it, it wants to come out so it might come out with music it might come out with songs it might come out just with literally writing stuff down um just write it down if you can, if you can capture it. But first, just, just really relax into it and, and you know, have a, have a real happy mojo time, real chilled happy mojo time of being a sage and a holy man. It feels like uh, you've had times in India where you've been, you know, like a yogi. That's the picture I'm getting, like a yogi who's, who's just, just peace just emanates peace the holy man of it you know the yogi i think you've had past life life or something you've really got this open in your aura at the moment so if you need a picture that's the sort of thing we're looking at where you like a yogi you really know your stuff and you're dead chilled with it and it's just who you are and you're living in present moment really easily the sage side of you as you pop into that gives you the benefit of um chilling relaxing and knowing all is well and then you can share that with the world which is bloody awesome <laughs> okay okay Jennifer okay so Amanda Amanda T So Amanda, this is really interesting. So you're showing me, with your higher self is showing me a, 
uh, a way of it's a time to get organized so remember when we have a connection like this it's the highest message that your higher self has been trying to get through to us that comes forward and the one that's benefiting us most from this time so your higher self is saying it's time to get organized so you were showing me like lots of like um you know like boxes and various things and organizations like filing it was like writing things it's like putting things away it's like um having having a tidy organizational uh time now to do all those things that you haven't had time to do forever and it's putting things away so that you can retrieve them easier because there's going to come a time not too many months where you're going to be mega busy like really really mega busy there's going to be lots going on it's going blah, 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 and all of that and you will need to be able to put your hands on documentation need to be able to put your hands on research so much quicker and easier so your higher self is saying let's get organized let's get all of this stuff in the mind down on paper or something and get it all organized around us so organize your thoughts um organize your home office that sort of thing so that seems to be highest priority at the moment amanda <laughs> okay and sarah sarah m Okay, so the first thing you'll show me is skippity boo. So it's like you're skipping down the street. You're in a street and you're skipping. So it's like the nature of skippity do, skippity do, skippity do, skippity 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 do. <laughs> so it's your higher self's just sort of like doing a ditty over and over, like a diddly 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 diddly. So it it really helps you at this time to stay up in your heart and um engage with life in a a light but steady progress so you're talking about light but steady progress there's a need in you to make some progress in some area of your life right now um and it seems to be it's not like going out it's you're not bringing in the energy this skipping is just light movement and happy gentle and something that you can preserve and do long over, over a long period of time so we're not talking about um big expansion of energy and using lots of energy and going clubbing all night or anything like that it's just a gentle turnover of energy so movement is very important um so keep your body moving each and every day for part of the day keep it going keep it moving there's something about when you've moved your body a bit that you get um the freedom stays within you so a hard one freedom in life um is something that you've had an idea of and your higher self wants you to get rid of the words hard earned i mean there's you've been living in freedom for a very long time your higher self is saying so just relax into it and accept it this is your life this is what you do you bring freedom and you are freedom and that's how you live so it's like it's like acknowledge that deeply accept that you you know you 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 can have that you you are that it's it's for you and it's okay it's brilliant for you to have that you take it you you are that you live it you cherish that you be it so skipping general movement is really really good because it just helps you to remind yourself that you're free and all the benefits that come from a mind that is free of constraints of um having to do or be any which way other than what comes up for you in the present moment thanks sarah okay god put my glasses on because i scribbled the names last night and I, I don't know what i'm doing oh there you go lovely okay so this is for susan r Let's see what you need today susan So you are in a time of treasures. Your higher self is, um, I know that you've just moved house and um, 
your higher self is saying this is a time of treasures and it's a time of treasured memories and you showed me you showed me some bustle going on at home you showed me some inner workings of of um fitting in comforting family but then you went straight to japan and i had blossoms they're saying remember the treasured times of japan um there was blossoms and then you showed me you sitting on a it wasn't sand but it was near a big body of water like the ocean but i felt like i was on on concrete or you know hard standing and you were sitting with your knees up uh with your arms around your knees just being and watching the movement of the water and the blossoms in japan it's the blossoms that that um i'd look up the meaning of blossoms what the spiritual meaning of blossom is and um see if you can breathe that in see if you can emanate that and have that as a treasure in your new home so this is a time where your memories are like treasures pop them in the new home pop them into your environment so you're filling that environment with the treasures of your heart and it's like a, it's, it feels like a real sacred thing to do it feels like you're yearning to have some time of sacredness within this new space and so your higher self is reminding you you have many treasured memories that you can actually you know you might be in your living room and you suddenly have a memory of such and such and such a treasure and it's like wow you can embody that and then boof, what that'll do is it'll go into all of those walls like just as good as painting it or wallpapering or whatever people want to do it's like energetically you're filling your walls with all that you are and take every treasured memory from your life and as we experience it when we feel it and we let that feeling grow and we become become it and become that sensation the walls obviously pick up our energy and they absorb it so as you're walking around your home and you've filled it with loads of treasures then those treasures actually remind you that you are life's treasure <laughs> <laughs> so there you go sweetheart and then we have Jemima Jemima this is for you so I'm in a whirlpool of energy i feel like i'm going round and round in a whirlpool of energy your higher self is asking you what's at the bottom of the whirlpool it's like every effort is being made to stay still when your higher self is actually saying why don't you relax and it's like lying down and you know when you're lying down have you ever had that experience where you're lying down in a river or in the sea and the tide is just taking you somewhere you know or the flow of the river is just taking you somewhere and you it's no effort you just have to lie there and allow the water uh, the, the and the tide to take you wherever it's going so the your higher self is saying why don't you do that why don't you allow yourself to uh, allow this whirlpool i think it's a whirlpool of energy or that you're showing me that today um, to take you down to what is below the whirlpool where is the where is the water leading to you to where is the swirl leading you to what's what's at the bottom often in life um i've talked previously about um you know the void uh and it's a place of darkness and it's a place where most people you know trip up at the edge of that cliff and they get really they use all of their energy to come back from it um my dark night of one of my soul moments <laughs> i uh i was really falling into one of those and then i stopped resisting i went oh a bit of bugger it therapy and just threw myself in threw myself into this fathomless pit and what i found at the bottom of that was god goddess divine light gaia all the things that i live with energetically every breath was there so it was like 
ah, oh, you know that thing, why didn't I do that years ago or whatever? It was just one of those like, ah, uh, so we resist, 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 resist our goodness. We resist our divine right of being here, living a full on life sometimes. And, and we resist our light and we just think, oh, well, that's the, the, that's the thing we do because there's lots of fear there. There's something to fear. And it's the unknown. You're, you're working with fearing with the unknown at the moment. And everything in you is saying, let go let go let go completely and allow this whirlpool of energy to take you down to the bottom because there's something there like i experienced i was like mega i was like oh all right then you know when you get to that stage where you just like you can't resist it anymore it just isn't working why carry on doing the things that aren't working we get the same results so change what we do so when i threw myself over into that dark pit you know, with all the fears and potentials and possibilities, I was at the point where I didn't want to live that way anymore. So why not try this? And so uh, I found the biggest treasures of all there. And life changing and everlasting. So that's your message. Let me know how you go. <laughs> okay. Okay, Kath, this is for you. Kath J. So your higher self is saying, um, to begin with, it's saying uh, even in moments of quiet, when your environment is quiet around you, you've got a chatterbox inside that's gnawing at things. So the chatterbox inside is going, gotta, 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 records <laughs> lps and you put um the stylus on and it would get stuck in a track it's like your high self is showing me that 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 chatter that background chatter that's that's uh it's comforting because it's familiar but it's also not doing you any good at the moment it's like just take the needle off put it off switch that off and make your own tunes it's like 88 percent of you um, is ready, is ready to pull all your learnings together and get out there and do some interesting stuff for yourself, your family and the world. Um, but this, this is the bit that's actually anchoring you into an old way. So fabulous opportunity here, Kath, absolutely fabulous opportunity. The timing is dead right for you right now. Honor yourself by having that quiet time, that you know, that supply of difference in, in your new life. Um, and get this, this constant chatter voice engaged. It's not calming it down, engage with it. So turn around and have a good conversation with that side of you. Find out what it's trying to say beneath the chatter. What's beyond the chatter? There's something beyond the chatter that's causing the chatter. So it's like um, this chatter is producing pressure and it's producing, um, it's producing like, oh, or, oh, 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 maybe I can't do that. Maybe I will. Maybe this, maybe it's that. Blah, blah, blah. It's producing hesitation and it's producing um, a bit of a negative. It's not massively negative, Kath. It's just like, you know, old patterns really in the sense that um, it's going down in a spiral that you're familiar with that you're really over. So it's just like, well, have a look at that, get the message of that, but go beyond it and find out what it is that wants to come up because there's some there's something gorgeous beyond that, underneath it, behind it, that's trying to get through. So just make way with all of that funky chatter stuff 
and then reach in and pull the other one off and find out what that what that lovely present it's like a present like a gift find out what that gift is that's behind that because this is incessant this chatter it just bloody well won't stop so so stop that recognize it deal with it and find out what the gift is underneath when you bring that gift in it's like oh yeah <laughs> And all your aspects can come together and you can move forward excited about new beginnings, new life, new this, new that, new the other. And, 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 and yeah, get in there with, yeah, I deserve this. I'm all right. The world's all right. Okay. <laughs> That's it all. Okay. So two more people for today. So Hazel J, this is for you, Hazel. <clears throat> your higher self is is just we've gone up to the fifth dimension hazel um i've done another uh youtube video uh, i'll put up the link for you here which is um it's basically talking about the third and the fourth and the fifth dimension it's talking about dimensional energies and my view of them so it, it might be worth you having a look at that video um because you're pulling in what i call a sixth dimensional reality right now um sixth dimension is all where we celebrate differences but you're bringing through your higher self just feels like it's a time for you to be serene so you're bringing in a lot of serenity there's a lot of serenity so what's trying to come into you at the moment is is a serene presence and a very high sixth dimension celebration of differences Many, 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 many years ago, when I first started looking at um, different dimensions of time and space and energetic bandwidth, um, the first time I visited Dimension 6, I saw a unicorn, which I hadn't been really aware of before at all. And it was just laying down next to a ribbon of light that looked like water. It was full of pastel colours, this place. And um, it was very ethereal so one felt your way through it and it was all heart-led so your higher self is reminding you that you can go through life through your heart trust in your heart your courage comes from there your wisdom your adulting and your innocence so trust in your heart space right now do what it is the heart is trying to tell you and lead you to being but be aware be consciously aware of this message today of serenity the serenity side is so very, very important to you. And it's a natural aspect of you, Hazel. It's really, really natural. It's in there. It's, it's picked up by lots of people who are with you. You put people into a sense of calm and security very, very easily. But your, your higher self is saying, now is time for you to receive some of that. So have a meditation of some description with serenity. And laughter comes really easily to you so it's like even in your most serene times you might fall about laughing <laughs> and that's great it's a wonderful com combination your higher self is reminding you that serenity doesn't mean serious okay does not mean serious serenity is a, a very high vibration experience of emotion and heart space um, that enables you to access the higher dimensional energies, to show, lead, uh, and work with others that um, need to remind themselves that unique individuals are fabulous and fantastic, and we all have something of quality to offer each other at this table of unity. Wow, you feel amazing, Hazel. You feel amazing. Mwah. Love to you. Okay, and this one is for David S. Oh. 
Okay, so Dave, your in um, your higher self really wants you to go really deep into your Tao, into your learning, into your teaching. It's time. Your higher self is saying it's really time for you to get out there more than one on one, but in groups to teach the Tao the way, the depths, and. Um, what your higher self showed me was you standing in a, a stone circle that's near where you live and um, you were you were standing next to one of the stones and you were moving with such grace and poise and gathering of chi and prana and um, it was as if your higher self wishes you to sort of connect with the stone of the land it's definitely stones first and it's like connect deeply with one stone really really deeply go really deep in the earth and up to the heavens and deep in the earth and really stretch yourself in that way not stretch but easily expand into the energy that's already there for you so it's almost like um, if there was a circle of energy and you've been in it you've got really comfortable within that circle of energy and you've stayed in that energy for a long 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 time and it's like there's a blueprint now of a bigger circle of energy that wishes you to you're already leaking into that energy and into that space sorry and so it wants you to accommodate that move into that, claim that, be that, become it. Um, so the stones are really funny. It's like one stone at a time, but you could be, I don't know, a very long time, months on one stone before moving on to the other. So it's not a case of having to complete the circle, but there's something really gorgeous, refreshing, um, and uh, positive in all sorts of ways by completing the stone circle one at a time but no rush and you could be hours with just one and also um, I've seen you with a different shaped stone where there's just two or three on their own uh, and apparently you know exactly where that is and they're really big they're really huge ones and uh, have different geology within them and they're calling you to just be with them as well but again it's as if you're doing sort of your qigong or something uh some movement is required rather than completely standing still some of the time it's almost like dancing with the stones that's how it really feels um and then there's stone first and then wood after so there seems like there's lots of breath of forest coming in now, your higher self is saying what it does when you resist this nudge from the universe, when you, um, you're too busy to listen in and check inside, it settles in your tummy. And the feeling I get, I know it's not anxiety, but that's the closest to it I can get. It's like a knot in the tummy. And it goes like a twist, like a quarter turn in a clockwise direction, as if somebody's you know, put a part in your tummy and go like quarter turn. That's how it feels. And it goes all into the small intestine and uh, sort of over a bit. And so when you've had some resistance to that, when you've had some not really known, sometimes we're not conscious that we're resisting this energetic invitation to expand our energy. And we get busy with life and everything else so this is like a really 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 mammothly good time for you to step into the wisdom part of you the teacher and the master because people need you david people need you and they're looking to you for your wisdom and your leadership so have a little think about how that fits okay <laughs> So that's everything for today. I hope some of that helped some of you. And yeah, I'd be really interested if you could scroll down on this YouTube thing and leave some comments there to let me know what you think and uh, if there's anything else I can help expand on. Okay, lots of love everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>